Hi, Jessica. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Well, congratulations on this show and your role. And oh, my goodness, I think this is a Jessica Finley Brown that we've never seen before. How did this juicy material get into your hands? Oh, well, I I just I, as soon as I read the first, I think, two episodes, I fell in love with it. It's brilliant writing and just very different. It felt its energy and boldness just captured my heart. And I have I rarely, I don't really ever watch what I've done, but I've watched every oh. single episode of Harlots. I can't, I can't get enough of it. I think it's, it's really cool. It is really cool. Um, tell me, tell us a little bit about Charlotte Wells. You know, I, one thing about this time period, you know, uh, early 18th, 18th century London, there was a lot of stuff I, I learned, even just by reading a little bit about the time uh, and the history of it, because what women went through, like one in five women were prostitutes. I mean, it's very, very interesting. Tell me a little bit about it and, and what you learned in playing playing Charlotte. It's incredible to to learn those statistics, that one in five women were prostitutes. And it's 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 also... It's also really shocking when you realize that if you were a woman who got married, absolutely everything that you owned, including your body, became the property of a man. And it's sort of playing Charlotte Wells, it really it really taught me how the length someone will go to to ensure that they keep some sense of what they consider their freedom. Charlotte won't sign that contract with Howard. She won't because even though she'll be safe, even though it will mean going forward, her family will potentially be looked after if he passed away, anything like that. It will mean that she is answerable to one person. They can make all the rules. They can completely control her. And I think she has that mm -hmm. sense of fear that he might do that. And she will stop at nothing to ensure that she keeps the ability to decide when, where, and how, and that is so important to her. Of course it is, and, and, and that was really extraordinary, and I couldn't help but relate to her. I loved her energy, and the fact that, you know, sometimes to someone it might look like a really great idea to sign that contract, but to me Absolutely. and to Charlotte, uh, like, Great cast. Yeah. I'm sorry, it's, it's hard with a little bit of a delay. It's such a great cast that you get to work with. Tell me a little bit working with uh, Samantha Morton, who plays your mother. Samantha Morton was incredible to work with. You know, it's, and you see what's on screen. It's such, she has so much love for her daughters and at the same time sort of has absolute fire, which Charlotte definitely has herself. And, I mean, Leslie Manville is just exquisite, playing... Lydia Quigley, she takes that role of that controlled sort of baddie and makes it so much more complex than that. It's, you know, there's no sort of, it, she just relishes that role. It's just, it's incredible. It's so magic to watch. And you get a sense that these two women have had a past and that they understand each other. And going into the finale, we really see what that's about and start to unravel even more with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and also, also not only great juicy material, and, and but you you know listen, you gotta you gotta wear the corset again. Have have they gotten any better since you had to wear them on Downton Abbey? Uh, it's a very different corset. So um, this one's sort of <laughs> way more about the waist, whereas that was about flattening, um, kind of the <laughs> shape. But uh, yeah, that's <laughs> I suppose um, yeah, it's a very different world. So, yeah, yeah, yeah abs yes, absolutely very different world. And I know that it's been a few years since we've seen you on Downton Abbey, but you know, listen, I'm talking to you from Canada, huge fan base from, from there. We, I, I was devastated when Lady Sybil, sorry, was my favorite character on the show. But you know, it, I, I guess you've moved on and it's been a few years, I get it, but it must have been a very special time in your life to work with that cast and to be on a show like that. It was, it was a very special time. It was my second job though. So I sort of didn't really, you know, I had um, my first job was an independent film, and so um, the two worlds were very different. Um, but like anyone my age at the time, you you naturally hungry to try and do yeah. more things. So um, and to work in different worlds, and um, to work in theatre, which I've been doing for the last sort of year and a half before I did Harlots, and so 
and then after Harlots. <laughs> so it's kind of, it yeah. was a wonderful platform to enable um, to work and to continue to grow and ask questions and to be able to be in rooms where they, those could be answered. So. Oh, absolutely. I mean, doing Hamlet on stage with oh, my favorite actor, Andrew Scott. Oh, my gosh, I'm so jealous of you. How awesome is that to be in front of a live audience? And you must learn so much from doing that every night. It's an incredible thing to work in front of a live audience every night because you just. It's just the most empowering, exciting, terrifying thing to know that unless you say yeah. what you're about to say out loud, it just doesn't happen. There's no. It is then and there, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But you get to go back and try again, and it's a huge sense of camaraderie, which is incredibly rare um, to get that sense and to sort of go in every night and to just be bold and brave with something. And actually, I hadn't really felt like that um, before I did theatre, but I must admit, coming in and doing Harlots, having this togetherness that we had on this job, it was really special. Um, I think that was the first time I'd felt that on that level, um, uh, on, 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 on a set. Um, I'd only ever felt that in theatre. So that was, that's incredible. That's a really test, that's a real testament to sort of what was created and encouraged on this job. Yes, and Harlots too, what I love about this is it's all like, it's directed, it's produced, it may, you know, uh, mostly women it's a, it's a complete women background in the foreground i mean yes there's men and harlots but oh my goodness how empowering is that it was incredibly empowering it was so exciting and also the conversation that was being had was so it was so layered and it wasn't one thing and it wasn't and it's it's funny i've been asked quite a lot you know how would it, would i have felt differently if it had been you know run written and produced by men and i just thought I've thought so often it just wouldn't be what it was. What I read and then what I was able to go and do and be part of was so special and I I can't sort of divorce the two. I can't sort of take apart those two those two things and, and sort of examine them as a separate. I think what everyone came together to do was really special and has resulted in, in, in this show. It's it's I'm so excited by it. It's really great. Well, you're really wonderful in it. What I've seen so far, and here in Canada, we can we get it on Super Channel. And I, and I have to just tell you, you're you're just such a wonderful actress. I hope that we get to see you in so much more. And uh, and maybe you'll come and visit us here in Toronto, so that maybe I can speak to you face to face. That yeah, would be really awesome. That would be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. I'm off to London in a few weeks, so I'm going to try and see you in Hamlet. I'm really going to make a point of that. And yes. uh, and and best of luck with Harlots. It's it's just everybody should see it. It's so fabulous. Thank you so much. Cool. Take Thank care. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. You too. Bye.